गुड डे फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार दोस्तों आई एम डॉक्टर संजय कालरा योर फ्रेंडली एंडोक्नोलॉजिस्ट एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर के के मेट टॉक्स थर्सडेज विद डॉक्टर संजय कालरा आज के हमारे नॉन स्टॉप शो का पांच सौ बहत्तरवा फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी सेकेंड एपिसोड है लेट्स हैव द हेडलाइंस फॉर टूडे कोविड कीप्स अस ऑल बिजी एंड कोविड हैज हिट द इंडियन क्रिकेट कैंप with seven uh, with nine positive team members including shikhar devan and shreyas ayer in delhi the market associations have urged the government to withdraw the night curfew as cases uh, continue to decline in the union territory delhi's air quality continues to remain in the very poor quality zone the aki has docked at 343 today studies have shown that the placenta may have a mechanism that protects the fetus from covid and also vaccines are safe with rheumatic diseases so if somebody has rheumatoid arthritis any other rheumatic disease you can happily take the covid vaccine and in germany their vaccine commission has recommended a fourth covid-19 shot now an extra booster for people to prevent themselves from covid let's go to our topic for today हमारा आज का बड़ा भारी भरकम सा टॉपिक है वेरी हैवी वेट काइंड ऑफ अ टॉपिक एंड द टॉपिक इज ओबेसिटी एंड टू डिस्कस दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट विद अस इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ प्राइड फॉर मी टू इंट्रोड्यूस डॉक्टर जसजीत वजीर वॉम वेलकम डॉक्टर वजीर डॉक्टर जसजीत इज द डायरेक्टर ऑफ डायबिटीज एंड मेटाबॉलिक डिजीज एट द प्रेस्टिजियस मेदांता द मेडिसिटी इन गुड़गांव पर हैप्स इंडिया इज मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस मोस्ट फेमस हॉस्पिटल and his medical training is from equally famous institutes all the best colleges of new delhi ucms mamsi and aims new delhi that's where he has studied and his primary expertise lies in obesity and diabetes and other metabolic disorders with nearly two decades of rich clinical experience uh, he has made a lot of contribution to our field patients ko to dekhte hi hain dr sir par uske ilawa unki jo publications hain journals mein unki unki research hai aur inki jo public outreach hai वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो डॉक्टर जसजीत वॉम वेलकम लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल ग्रीटिंग यू टुडे सविता बुटानी मैडम है हमारे साथ प्रसून पल्लव भाई साहब भी है हमारे साथ एंड बिमला कपूर जी भी हैं एंड ये सब पूछ रहे हैं कि ओबेसिटी है क्या व्हाई आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट ओबेसिटी टुडे सो इट्स इट्स अ एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब हेल्थ परस्पेक्टिव से ओबेसिटी का नाम हर जगह आता है हर स्पेशलिटी पे आता है it is so important as you as you rightly started off a bhari barkam topic something which has a association with each and every disease each and every specialty chahe wo rheumatology ho cardiology ho gastroenterology ho nephrology ho har field mein uh, obesity is a important issue now uh, i think uh, in the next one hour we should we should divide the topic into obesity hota kya hai the health impacts and what is the armamentarium we have of tackling the the you, we may call it menace the problem the medical problem the chronic disease any name we may use so uh, and i'm sure with with you being there we would be able to deliver the most comprehensive yet easily understandable uh, aspects of obesity and its management so starting off jaise aapne kaha what is obesity so generally uh i'm sure a lot of non medical people would also be listening to uh, today's session to ek rule of thumb hai aapki height centimeters mein kitni hai let's say aapki height 174 centimeters hai to 174 ke pehle wala 1 hata de to ek kind of rule of thumb aapka ideal weight aa gaya and then you stand on the machine you will get to know how much extra kgs are you carrying <coughs> अब मैंने डिलिबरेटली किलोग्राम कहा क्योंकि ओबेसिटी का एक एस्पेक्ट और बाहर निकलता है कि खाली वेट पे वजन पे जाके ओबेसिटी को नहीं डिफाइन करना चाहिए फॉर एग्जांपल यंग लड़के जो जो रिगरस ट्रेनिंग और जिम करते हैं उसका वेट 96 सिक्स हो सकता है एक हाइट 174 सेंटीमीटर्स uh, पे बट क्या हम उसको ओबीज कहेंगे 
नहीं उसके पास मसल्स हैं सो द फाइनल डेफिनेशन और अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज कैरिंग एक्सेस फैट एंड सेकेंड एस्पेक्ट उसका ओबिसिटी uh, का ये है कि वो एशियन इंडियन पॉपुलेशन जो हमारी पॉपुलेशन है उसमें एक और बड़ा पिक्यूलियर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैट होता है जिसको हम एप्पल शेप्ड ओबिसिटी कहते हैं कि मैक्सिमम वेट पेट के आसपास होता है सेंट्रल ओबिसिटी जिसको कहते हैं एंड दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द मेन रीजन्स कि नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेज डायबिटीज हाइपोटेंशन हार्ट डिजीज हमारी पॉपुलेशन में ज्यादा होती है सर बैक टू यू सो थैंक यू डॉक्टर जसजीत जैसा कि आपने कहा ओबेसिटी वाकई एक बहुत भारी भरकम टॉपिक है एंड इट अफेक्ट्स एवरीबॉडी एंड फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चंस एंड कमेंट्स दैट वी आर गेटिंग वी वी सी दैट पीपल डू रियलाइज दैट सपना जी पूछ रही हैं व्हाट आर द हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स एसोसिएटेड विद ओबेसिटी बट देन फिर स्पेसिफिकली तन्वे कपूर जी कह रहे हैं डज ओबेसिटी अफेक्ट फर्टिलिटी सो वी अंडरस्टैंड एंड एक एक करके इसको डिस्कस करते हैं डॉक्टर जसजीत ने यह भी कहा ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन चेक इन किलोग्राम्स यू कैन चेक बॉडी मास इंडेक्स और किलोग्राम्स और आपकी हाइट जो है सेंटीमीटर्स में अगर उसमें थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस है इसका मतलब गड़बड़ है बट uh, सोनू गर्ग जी ने एक पॉइंट रेस किया है जो आप, आपने भी अभी यू एलूडेड टू दैट तो सोनू गर्ग जी पूछ रहे हैं वॉट इज द बेस्ट मेजर फॉर मेजरिंग बॉडी फैट परसेंटेज आपने ये तो कह दिया कि ओबेस्टी एक्चुअली मीन्स एक्सेस फैट सो मेरे घर में वेइंग मशीन है आई कैन क्लाइंब ऑन द वेइंग मशीन That will tell me my weight in kg. But ऐसी कौन सी मशीन है जिसके साथ हम बॉडी फैट परसेंटेज चेक कर सकते हैं सो दैट्स एन एक्सलेंट क्वेश्चन और वही वहीं से ही हमारी डिस्कशन स्टार्ट हुई थी कि ओबिसिटी इज बेसिकली एक्सेस फैक्ट एंड दैट्स अ वेरी रेलिवेंट क्वेश्चन की अब ठीक है आपने कह दिया फैक्ट ओबिसिटी इक्वल हो गया बट वो मेजर कैसे करना है तो आज की डेट में बड़ी सिंपल ईजिली अवेलेबल बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन एनालाइजर्स हैं वो वेइंग मशीन जैसे ही दिखते हैं लेकिन इलेक्ट्रिकल करंट बॉडी से पास होता है बिजली का झटका नहीं लगेगा बट इलेक्ट्रिकल करंट पास होता है बॉडी से और फैट की जो रेजिस्टेंस होती है उससे वो मशीन हमें ये बता पाता है कि बॉडी में टोटल कितना फैट है और वो फैट किस किस एरिया में ज़्यादा है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अबडामिन में ज़्यादा है या किस एरिया में ज़्यादा है तो ईजिली मेजरेबल जो फैट का मेजरमेंट ईजिली हो सकता है जो बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन हम बी सी ए मशीन होती है वो बायो इम्पिडेंस से मेजर करती है थोड़े से रिसर्च मोड में जाएंगे तो डेक्सा स्कैन और एम आर आई वो मेनली रिसर्च बेस्ड मेथडोलॉजीज हैं बॉडी फैट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए बट बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन एनालाइजर मोस्टली आप जिम्स में भी जाएंगे सब जगह जाएंगे मोस्ट डायबिटीज क्लिनिक्स एंडोक्रिनोलॉजी क्लिनिक्स वेट मैनेजमेंट क्लिनिक्स सब जगह पे आपको बॉडी कॉम्पोजिशन एनालाइजर मिल जाएंगे और यूज भी करते हैं जिससे कि हम बॉडी फैट को रीजनेबली क्वांटिफाई कर सकते हैं बोट इन अमाउंट एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आपने कहा बायो इम्पीडेंस मशीन सो नाउ इन माई जिम देर आर टू मशीन एक है जो हम हाथ में पकड़ते हैं लाइक दिस एंड देन वी गेट सम नंबर्स एंड दूसरी है जो हम खड़े हो जाते हैं उस पर जूते उतार के सॉक्स उतार के वी रिमूव आर सॉक्स एंड शूज एंड देन वी स्टैंड ऑन इट एंड देन एंड देन वी होल्ड द हैंडल्स विद आवर हैंड्स आर बोथ द सेम डॉक्टर जसजीत और आर दे डिफरेंट सर सो द बेस्ट मशीन आर दंस विच टेक ऑल फोर जिसमें हैंड के हैंडल्स भी होते हैं और उसका भी प्रोसीजर एक प्रॉपरली किया जाना चाहिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप जराब पहन के उस पर नहीं जा सकते हैं क्योंकि डायरेक्ट स्किन का कॉन्टैक्ट चाहिए जहाँ से इलेक्ट्रिकल करंट जाएगा प्लस उसमें फुट की जो शेप बनी हुई है आपका पैर उस पर प्रॉपरली रखा जाना चाहिए आपकी पैंट या आपका ट्रैक सूट पैर और मशीन के बीच में नहीं आना चाहिए देन जो आर्म को स्ट्रेच करना होता है वो एक स्पेसिफिक वे में एंगल पे रखना होता है एंड देन दैट विल गिव द बेस्ट रिजल्ट आइडियली उसको एक स्टैंडर्डाइज वे में अगर करा जाए एम टी स्टमक विद प्रॉपर हाइड्रेशन इट विल लाइकली टू गिव द बेस्ट रिजल्ट थैंक्स डॉक्टर जसजीत वी हैव पीपल लॉकड इन फ्राम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री डॉक्टर मोहन देवेगाउडा डॉक्टर दुष कोचर डॉक्टर आर एस चौधरी सर इज फ्राम करनाल डॉक्टर शुभलता चटवाल मैडम इज फ्राम न्यू डेली एंड डॉक्टर पवार इज वेरी सीनियर पिटिटेशन डॉक्टर मोहन रिक्वेस्ट इफ यू कैन इफ यू कैन जस्ट रिपीट वॉट यू सेट इन इंग्लिश प्लीज regarding uh, the machine to check body fat percentage 
and then regarding the right method of using that machine so the the ideal way of doing it is to standardize the time of the day where uh, you would like to do it uh, for example people who are enrolled in a weight management program we would call them at a specific time of the day for example to come in empty stomach with proper hydration in place because aap suddenly exercise karke pasina baha ke uh, sorry if you're sweating and then you stand in the machine there is a likelihood of changes in the body composition especially if you are monitoring people in a in a weight management program so a standardized way uh, empty stomach they come in to to your office to your clinic or when they visit the gym uh, the body composition has to be done barefoot and most of the good machines have got the shape of a foot made on which they stand uh the contact of the skin should be complete no part of the foot should be outside the electrodes on which the patient stands then the position of the hands uh the machine has uh, two specific handles to which they hold on to they should be held on with the arms open this i'm talking about specific machines and be very very stable when they when the when the body composition analysis is being done so would Thanks you like to that. add something to that yeah. no that makes it very easy for us to apna weight to check kare hain do check your weight that is an easy way but weight alone won't work supposing i am 180 cm and my weight is 90 kg uska alag matlab hai but if i am 150 cm and my weight is 90 kg uska alag farak hai so the actual number is a bmi body mass index but better than that if you have facilities you can check your body uh, mass you can check your body fat composition or percentage and that will be done with the bio impedance machine uh, many questions coming up dr jasjit you have bahut sare sawal aa rahe hain ki hum obesity se kaise chutkara paaye but before that let's take two questions which are linked to each other and i acknowledge everybody who is asking these questions uh, madam kapoor pooch rahi hain and ek bahut cool hamare listener the cool kalinga kitchen that would be from odisha ye pooch rahe hain does obesity affect fertility and then pregnancy so uh the impact of obesity i'm i'm extending the question on to a more broader uh, uh question of the health impacts or the impact of obesity to but a simple way mein jo bhi obesity ki conversation aati hai तो ओबिसिटी का तन मन और धन तीनों पे असर आता है तन इज द बॉडी मन इज द माइंड एंड धन वील कम टू टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ दिस हाउ ओबिसिटी मैनेजमेंट कैन मेक यू वेल्थियर इन ऑल दीज थ्री एस्पेक्ट्स सो कमिंग बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देर इज अ डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप ऑफ ओबिसिटी विथ पी सी ओ डी एंड दैट हैज अ डायरेक्ट रिलेशन विथ विथ फर्टिलिटी इशूज so that absolutely is there and one of the reasons uh, uh, young girls uh, young ladies come to us with uh, problems in in conception and fertility issues one of the most important issues in management of uh, pcos or these fertility related uh, problems is weight management and it it goes a long way in helping them out uh, get to uh, a proper fertility so it's very important uh if you're planning pregnancy whether you're male or female certainly you should be in good shape agar aap pregnancy plan kar rahe hain chahe aap lady hain mahila hain ya aadmi hain purush hain it is good to be in good shape and agar aap weight kam karenge that will actually improve your health sperm quality will go up it will improve egg quality will improve and chances of pregnancy will increase now supposing dr jasjeet pregnancy ho gayi बट uh, जो महिला है द लेडी इज ऑलरेडी एटी के जी नाइनटी के जी एंड मे बी आर हाइट इज फाइव फीट वट हैपन्स लेटर ऑन इज द प्रेगनेंसी वेरी रिलैक्सड और आर देर मोर चांसेस ऑफ मिस सो ओबीसीटीज अल इम्पैक्ट हेयर इन इन प्रेगनेंसी वन इज द मेटाबॉलिक कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ एक्सेस वेट जो कि प्रेगनेंट एंड नॉन प्रेगनेंट वे में भी रहते हैं and others the mechanical aspects of difficulties in delivery a uh, lot of physical issues or or problems faced by ladies if they have a weight problem secondly uh, the extension of this question is 
do we do we institute weight loss during pregnancy that depends on the starting weight and ek expected her trimester ka weight loss hota hai so the calorie intake is tailored for a patient to limit excess weight gain which which will definitely trouble the pregnancy the outcome of the pregnancy and and the mechanical aspects also will get exaggerated with excessive uh, weight gain and also uh, happening of uh, abnormal blood glucose levels ya yeah, gestational diabetes ya yeah, diabetes post pregnancy all these things are directly related to weight starting before uh, pregnancy during and obviously after that uh that point is well taken we also have with us dr bhalchandra mishram and dr khilendra saxena dr saxena is a gynecologist so i am sure we will she'll be very much aware uh hamare hospital mein bhi 20 saal pehle jo hamare stretcher the ya jo hamare beds the wo hame sare ke sare badalne pade because us time pe average body weight jo hota tha delivery wale patient ka wo hota tha 50 60 kilo Uh, Dr. Yunus Majid Khan has also joined. So, 20 years ago, in our hospital, actually the average weight of a lady coming for delivery, whether normal or cesarean, was about 50-60 kg. So, all of our beds and uh, stretchers were made for that purpose. Now, that average weight has gone up to 80-90 kg, and uh, it's not infrequent. Actually, every week you will have a lady coming in with the 120 kg, 125 kg. So, it is actually tough for the mother. for the baby and also for the treating doctor i am sure dr saxena and dr mohan all of them will will resonate with this with this uh, problem there is a concept of transgenerational karma now in indian philosophy we have this concept of karma hamare philosophy mein ek concept hai karm ka karm means jo bhi aapne kal kiya uska asar aaj pe padega jo aap aaj kar rahe hain uska asar kal pe padega whatever you did yesterday influences your today whatever you do in today influences your tomorrow so dr jasjeet in general this may be true for philosophy that's a separate matter is it true for health related matters and is it absolutely. true for obesity absolutely sir uh, uh, th- this very concept of uh, karma which is which is more of our cultural thoughts uh, is directly there in management of diabetes that is one example which everybody would know is that as early on in the course of diabetes we intervene so early aggressive management leads to creation of a good metabolic memory which is inherited as a good legacy in the future this is something which is so well proven in science now this applies in all chronic diseases early aggressive treatment and obesity is also one of them so for example obesity ab uh, we can change gear in understanding if we intervene early on in the course of obesity what all are we preventing or what all good are we trying to create is a whole list of mechanical aspects and metabolic diseases that we are trying to do so uh, the the thought of good karma today and uh, creating a good legacy for ourselves our our families our population i would go on to the whole country also with that and uh, so we spoke of karma uh, what would transgenerational karma be we are talking about pregnancy pre pregnancy planning if the lady is obese before pregnancy during pregnancy uh, that will impact her health wo to man gaye but aane wale bacche ki aane wali health us pe impact padta hai kya uh so there are two aspects here one is non modifiable risk factors in any non communicable diseases we have two sets of risk factors non modifiable which includes age gender genetics so what is genetically determined what is gender dependent what is age dependent cannot be modified but obesity comes in both domains it it may be related to genetics but has a major yeah uh, environmental impact so that is something we can change and ensure that the progeny to come at least is protected from the environmental change so some things which we can do definitely and and prevent the adverse impact on on the developing fetus or even after birth 
इवन आफ्टर दैट सो ये पॉइंट हम फिर से री इन्फोर्स करेंगे लेट अस री इन्फोर्स दिस के जो इम्पैक्ट है ओबेस्टी का हमने कहा ये भारी भरकम डिजीज है इट्स अ वेरी हैवी वेट काइंड ऑफ डिजीज डॉक्टर वजीर ने कहा कि हर एक को इम्पैक्ट करती है एवरी मेडिकल एवरी सर्जिकल स्पेशलिटी ओबेसिटी इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इट कैन नॉट बी लेफ्ट टू एनी सिंगल पर्सन इट कैन नॉट बी लेफ्ट टू एनी सिंगल फेज ऑफ लाइफ ऑल ऑफ एस चाहे हम मेडिकोज हों चाहे नॉन मेडिकोज हों चाहे हम जिस मर्जी फेज ऑफ लाइफ में हों वेदर वी आर चिल्ड्रन वी आर यंग एडल्ट मे बी प्लानिंग प्रेगनेंसी या वी आर एल्डरली ऑल ऑफ एस शुड फाइट ओबेसिटी एंड आई थिंक दैट इज द मेन एम ऑफ डॉक्टर के के अग्रवाल मेड टॉक्स इसी के जरिए वी गेट द एंटायर कंट्री टूगेदर एंड आई एम रियली इंस्पायर्ड बाई दिस मैसेज फ्राम डॉक्टर मोहन देवे गाउडर वन नेशन वन डॉक्टर सो ऑफकोर्स नाउ द एंटायर नेशन कैन नॉट बी ट्रीटेड बाई वन डॉक्टर बट सर्टनली के के मेड टॉक्स इज समथिंग दैट यूनिफाइज ऑल ऑफ एस और हम कोशिश करते हैं इंग्लिश में भी बात करने की हिंदी में भी बात करने की ये जरूर सबको प्रॉमिस करूंगा आश्वासन देता हूँ आई प्रॉमिस एवरीबडी दैट ऑल द फैक्ट्स आर रिपीटेड इन बोथ लैंग्वेजेस सो देर इज नथिंग दैट एनी बडी विल मिस आउट ऑन डॉक्टर जसजीत लेट्स कम टू ट्रीटमेंट नाउ एंड क्वेश्चन कमिंग इन फ्रॉम वन ऑफ आर लिस्नर्स मिस्टर ए के हु सेज वॉट आर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड आर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स बैड फॉर वेट so uh, i wish the the answer the question is very simple it's very basic and is the basis of all nutritional interventions uh chahe wo diabetes ke liye ho chahe wo blood pressure ke liye ho chahe wo weight management ke liye ho so carbohydrate for for basic understanding hamara body ka fuel hai that's what the body works on so you cannot say ki long term mein whatever i'm saying is i'm talking about a long term thing अगर कोई कहते हैं जी वेट मैनेजमेंट में जीरो कार्ब डाइट लेनी है हाई प्रोटीन कुछ दिन आप कर सकते हैं बट वेन एवर आई एम हैविंग अ डिस्कशन विद विद माय पेशेंट ऑन वेट मैनेजमेंट आई टेल देम टू फॉलो द थ्री एस प्रिंसिपल स्लो स्टडी एंड श्योर एंड डाइट में इंक्लूडिंग कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स थ्री वर्ड्स विच वर्क वेरी वेल द क्वान्टिटी क्वालिटी and the timing if there is any fourth word i'm sure we'll add it on but if we follow this 3s principles and the quantity quality and timing we've taken care of lot of things on the long run and so coming back to the carbohydrate thing it's the basic fuel for the cell hum body ko deprive nahi kar sakte aap usko deprive karenge to body will automatically start breaking the other vital tissues like muscles so you cannot starve the body on carbohydrates a balance of the nutrients jo macronutrients hote hain carbohydrates fats protein maintaining a balance of that is very important and if time allows we can talk a little bit more about nutritional strategies very basics ki hum kya kya kar sakte hain for for uh, making it a enjoyable journey enjoyable journey for weight management uh, that if time allows we can definitely indulge in certainly so the message is that carbohydrates of course khane to hain for sustenance but uh, the quantity the quality and the pattern we should be aware of that and also a, a very important point coming from dr jasjeet you should enjoy the journey of weight loss usse apna bp na badha le stressful na banaye usko तो गाना भी तो याद आता है हमें उर्दू का मंजिलें अपनी जगह रास्ते अपनी जगह तो मंजिल तो हुई वेट लॉस या आइडियल वेट लेट्स लेट्स स्पीक अबाउट इट इन अ पॉजिटिव मैनर आइडियल वेट और आइडियल हेल्थ इंस्टेड ऑफ लूजिंग समथिंग राइट तो मंजिल तो हुई आइडियल वेट बट जो रास्ता है जो सफर है द जर्नी दैट शुड ऑल्सो बी एन्जॉयबल अब इसमें एक तीसरी चीज आती है डॉक्टर जसजीत तो मंजिल अपनी जगह रास्ते अपनी जगह मगर हम सफर का क्या करें सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लूज वेट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लूज इट इन एंजॉयबल वे मैंने तो डिसाइड कर लिया कि आई विल कम टू मेदानता टू मीट यू तो आपको हम सफर बनाता हूँ बट हाउ डू वी फाइंड द राइट हम सफर हाउ डू वी फाइंड द राइट ट्रेवल कंपेनियन इन अवर जर्नी टूवर्ड्स अल्दी वेट आई विश देर वॉज आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज एप्लीकेबल टू एवरीबडी and actually the answer to this question is something that weight management has to be tailored it is one of the interventions in uh, in 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 the medical field 
which requires the most kind of flexibility in the program it's one size does not fit all to iske the vital pillars jaise ek ghar hota hai ghar ke pillar hote hain jis pe chhat tiki hoti hai ghar ki integrity aur strength uh, tiki hoti hai so there are four vital pillars in weight management nutrition exercise बिहेवियर चेंजेस एंड ड्रग थेरेपी ये चार मेजर पिलर्स हैं जिसपे द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एनी वेट मैनेजमेंट प्रोग्राम और इंटरवेंशन डिपेंड ऑन एंड देन इट इज बेस्ट डिलीवर्ड विद अ वेट मैनेजमेंट टीम जहाँ पे ये सारे मेम्बर एक जगह पे हैं एंड कोहेसिवली डू देर ओन पार्ट सम में रिक्वायर मोर ऑफ बिहेवियर मॉडिफिकेशन some would require more of nutrition and once we have these four things together we will be successful and we are always successful this thing i can guarantee this thing i can guarantee so four things dobara se yaad karate hain sabko char cheeze jo dr sahab ne kaha one is diet khane peene pe thoda sa niyantran second is exercise varjish third is behavioral modification aap apna vyavhar badle change your behavior and chauta hai of course drugs and maybe surgery for some people let's uh, complete the discussion on diet dr jajit uske bare mein baat kar rahe hain to teen char sawal aa rahe hain pehla to dr vipin bhandula se aata hai who notes that some people gain weight very easily others lose very easily sabki kismat alag alag hai everybody has his or her own phenotype but he asks uh, what is the role of intermittent fasting in losing weight excellent I, i i knew this question will come and i'm sure a lot of more questions like this on keto diet this diet that diet i'm sure is there in everybody's mind so intermittent fasting is is a very good way to uh, start a weight management process but long term me usme persistence is a problem so there is a concept known as diet cycling for example humne uh, let's say uh, छः हफ्ते का एक प्रोग्राम बनाया उसमें टू वीक्स वन वीक टू वीक्स वन वीक डाइट साइकिलिंग करते रहते हैं नाउ एज आई टॉक अबाउट आई यू इंजॉइंग द प्रोग्राम येस यू आर बिकॉज एवरी नाउ एंड देन यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग न्यू नया खिलौना देख के बच्चा हमेशा एक्साइट होता है एंड न्यू थिंग्स ऑलवेज एक्साइट आस डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू दैट इज इज लूजिंग वेट और जब वेट लॉस होता है तो मोटिवेशन बढ़ती है मोटिवेशन बढ़ती है एफर्ट बढ़ता है सो अगेन एज आई सेड वन साइज डज नॉट फिट ऑल एंड दैट होल्ड्स ट्रू वी कीप ऑन चेंजिंग थिंग्स एंड सो इंटरमीडियंट फास्टिंग इज इज अ एक्सेलेंट वे टू स्टार्ट ऑफ द वेट वेट लॉस और वेट मैनेजमेंट प्रोग्राम इट कैन बी यूज इंटरमीडियंटली हमारे पास वी वी हैव लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन यूजिंग दिस in the particular pattern that i am saying but long term usage uh, ka bahut zyada benefit us way mein nahi hoega but in the short term you can try it and if it suits you that's fine another thing we should notice ke jab hum baat karte hain intermittent fasting ki it can be of different types some people may want to fast 16 hours in a day others may want to fast 18 hours in a day yet others may fast 7 days a week 2 days a week 5 days a week Uh, but it's not a modern concept if we look at the jain religion intermittent fasting has been going on for 2500 3000 years and if we look at islam the holy month of ramzan will be uh, upon us soon it will start from the 2nd or 3rd of april and that is a type of intermittent fasting which lasts for one month so intermittent fasting kehne ko ek modern concept hai but actually it has uh, age old centuries old Uh, you know experience and when we look at ramzan for example you will find that there is so much of research which shows that if you fast during ramzan you get not only spiritual benefit spiritual health but also physical health and when you look at the jain religion if there is someone who has been fasting since childhood since adolescence that person can continue throughout life you don't have to force the person to change his or her medication balki dr jasjeet jo hum pehle dawaiyan likha karte the let us say somebody from the jain community who will not take food after 5 pm or 6 pm to pehle jo hum insulin likhte the dawai likhte the usme to bahut mushkil aati thi but uh, what is your experience now with the modern insulins uh, is it easy for a person to continue intermittent fasting in a safe manner uh, 
absolutely very important uh, question. The reason being obesity and diabetes are so closely related. And uh, our practice at Medanta, over 80% of our diabetic patients, the type 2 diabetic patients are either overweight or obese. So tackling that is, uh, uh, is, is an everyday thing that we have to do. Coming straight to the question is uh, safety. Up the, the insulins have progressed so, so much that with safer insulins, which are more, more predictable and safer with a shorter duration and the long ones are longer acting with lesser chances of sugar variability are definitely uh, used in specific situations where uh, the meal timings are bound by such practices. Uh, point well taken and Suresh Shukla ji follows uh, this up with another question. Uh, dinner ka time kya hona chahiye? What time should we take dinner? Sir, this question will be best answered by you. <laughs> uh, Suresh ji, it will depend of course upon your lifestyle. Ab, ab aap, uh, ghar hai, ko man lo, after doing your duty, to fir hi khana but in general, if all other things are equal, try to take it as soon as possible. Sometimes we do face a challenge. Challenge is that we have normally dinner at 8 baje, but today you have to go to the party, to the wedding, and you have to dinner at 11 baje. The way it is that you have to eat your normal dinner at 8 baje. Scaffold. Maybe not the entire dinner, at least half of it, so that you don't feel hungry. And this way, when you go to the party, when you go to the hotel, then you will not feel very hungry, and you will be able to avoid all those lions and monsters. Today, there are many lions and monsters in the world. Uh, uh, Gajrela wala lion hai, or uh, Pidni wala monster bhi hai. So these are kind of things that we try to avoid. Uh, one person who helps me with my weight loss, that is uh, Professor Nitin Kapoor from CMC Velour. And uh, he gives me these pictures of lions and monsters and villains. Then I keep all of them from the or toffees and uh, Gajrela. Se ke and then he has helped me build up a, a, a full forge a full you know army of soldiers to fight all these monsters so what are some of these soldiers that we can use and ye joy ji pooch rahi hai because she says i am vegetarian sabse pehle to so what are the kind of foods that i can eat main kaun se soldiers leke aaun maidan mein which will help me remain full which will prevent me from being hungry and madam ye bhi keh rahi hai ki uh, i exercise well but of course i have thyroid and polycystic ovary as well so hum kaun se soldiers maidan mein la sakte hain what can we eat more so uh, and and i'm sure the the soldiers uh, that uh, sir was talking about uh, start from the fibers and if you're a vegetarian vegetarian ka kisi ke liye bhi the choices are so many in our country which is blessed with uh, vegetables of any kind and every kind or a little bit cold storage mein, har season mein, har cheez bhi mil jati hai. so when we talk about and as uh, dr kalra sir also mentioned about uh, f- uh, you feel uh, fulfilled with a diet ki pet bhar jata hai. so there fiber has uh, a very big role yeah, for example jaise, uh, uh, there was any uh, thought about ki we have to go out for dinner so you can have a salad bowl before you leave for your dinner. That will be pretty fulfilling. Fullness aayegi and fullness se satiety aa jati hai. And satiety will prevent you from indulging and will, will protect you from the, the monsters and the and the dragons which uh, Dr. Kalra was talking about. So lots of salad and clear soup as well you can try in winter time. That will help you. Salad soup se peet bharta hai. Dr. Jisjit, you have a lot from Pakistan. Rabia Omer Ji is with us. And the uh, monsters or challenges in health, wale, like obesity, for example, these are the same all across the world. And when we speak with each other, when we talk to each other, that is how we become strong. And it becomes 11, Rabia Ji. So when you're with us, 1 plus 1 becomes 11. Uh, Kedar Joshi ji ek point raise kar rahe hain. Let me speak it out in Hindi and then let's translate it into English. Uh, Joshi sir keh rahe hain ke hum log wazan badhane ki hi baatein karte rehte hain. Kabhi badhao, kabhi ghatao. Jaysay hum kabhi optimize hum ne kabhi karna hi na ho. To why don't we change our language? And kya hum santulit tarikhe se isse badhane ke baare mein kuch nahi keh sakte kya? Can we not speak about weight optimization? 
instead of just about weight loss and weight increase. So, Dr. Jajit, your take on this. And uh, Joshi, sir, our senior is going to listen Absolutely. So, the question ka answer is one word, hai, wellness. So, चाहे हम diabetes का treatment करें, चाहे hypertension का treatment करें, चाहे weight management करें, end result अगर mind में wellness होएगा, तो आपको वो numerical जो आंकड़े आते हैं weight के machine पे खड़े होने कर, के measure करके, वो खत्म हो जाएंगे। So, in that way, I totally agree with him. Whenever I manage or or address a, a weight problem for any of my patients, I would talk to them in the words of wellness. How well do you feel? How well, how good are your tests? How well do you sleep? So to me, management of uh, obesity is not reducing kilograms only. It's it's the entire journey at the and it doesn't end ever. It, it's forever. How well do you feel during the process of uh, losing weight? So that point is well taken, sir, uh, Dr. Kedar, sir. And actually, now we speak more about wellness and health. And ये हमारे पुराने medical system में वाकई कमी भी थी. Always we would be talking about disease, about illness all the time. And जो new medicines हैं हमारे पास, whether it is in diabetes, obesity, of course they are meant for treatment. But more than that, they are meant for prevention of disease. तो अब हम यही बात करते हैं. आप अपने weight पे नियंत्रण रखें, control करें अपने weight को, keep it under lock and key, keep yourself safe from all those dragons and monsters and lions, and you will be able to maintain good health and enjoy good health in a sustainable manner. Sustainable is another issue. Aata hai. And Dr. Jajit, a lot of best practices coming in. Vipin ji keh rahe hai, uh, uh, this was an answer to Joy's question. Uh, sprouts, nuts, fruits and vegetables. These are things that you can eat in plenty. And they are available in abundance. And you can eat them in abundance. And uh, he also adds curd and cheese, which is a good idea. And also multigrain atta. You can increase the fiber in your chapati. Uh, Ruchika Ramakrishnan ji, thanking you for all your uh, insightful comments, Dr. Jajit. So, Ruchika ki baat... aaj, uh, aaj anniversary hai. Marriage anniversary hai, Ruchika ki. Are best wishes, Ruchika. So, how will you celebrate, Ruchika? Tell us. And what kind of healthy foods and unhealthy foods will you eat? But sal mein ek bar to allowed hai. You can eat whatever you want. Tomorrow you can exercise a little bit more. जब हम खाने की बात करते हैं and now allow me to speak in Hindi and then we will request Dr. Jajjit to translate into English. जब हम खाने की बात करते हैं तो ये question आता है हम क्या खाएं, क्या खाएं. That is what people ask all the time. तो कोई भी चीज जो मंडी से आती हो, सब्जी मंडी, अनाज मंडी, फ्रूट की मंडी से, सब्जी मंडी, अनाज मंडी, फ्रूट की मंडी से, ये जितना मर्जी खाएं, पेट भर के खाएं. जो चीज आती है दूध की डायरी से, वो लिमिट में ले सकते हैं. अगर आप दूध दही लस्सी ले रहे हैं या कच्चा पनीर वो शौक से खाएं देयर इज नो इशू विद दैट मगर जो चीजें आग के बगैर नहीं बन पाती जैसे दूध को जब आप जब आप आग इस्तेमाल करेंगे उसको बॉईल करेंगे तभी घी बनेगा या मक्खन बनेगा तो घी या मक्खन अवॉइड कर लें ऐसे ही सब्जियां तकरीबन सारी सब्जी आप खुले दिल से खा सकते हैं वो सब्जियां जो कच्चे कच्ची खाई जा सकती हैं तो अगर आप देखें पहले खुदा ने या भगवान ने हमें बनाया इंसान को हमारी प्रजाति को हमने कच्ची सब्जियां खानी शुरू की भिंडी बैंगन घिया कद्दू तोरी ये सब हम कच्चा खाते होंगे वंस अपॉन अ टाइम मे बी 1000 इयर्स 10000 इयर्स अगो तो वो चीजें अभी भी आप खा सकते हैं पका के खाएं ये नहीं कह रहा कि कच्ची खाएं कुछ एक चीजें हम कच्ची खा ही नहीं सकते जैसे आलू अरबी है आलू अरबी आपको पका के आग के साथ खानी पड़ेगी तो इंसान ने पहले आग इजाद की ही डेवलप्ड फायर उसके बाद ये सब्जियां आई हमारे खाने पीने में ये लिमिटेड मात्रा में। So uh, let's uh, discuss this, Doctor Jaji. The simple way of telling people what they can eat in abundance. So uh, very right. Uh, so it's it's basically uh, I will change the answer in a way कि uh, जो आपकी प्लेट है प्लेट को आप तीन या चार हिस्सों में डिवाइड कर लें जिसमें से सबसे बड़ा हिस्सा है the largest portion of your uh, the the plate should look very very colored now colored directly relates to uh, the vegetables uh, dr kalra was talking about and the more colorful and uh, the the healthier it is because not just fiber 
जो उसके माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स वाइटमिन ये सब आ रहे हैं देन एक और पोर्शन हो गया जिसमें जो जमीन के नीचे ग्रो करती हैं चीजें जैसे आलू हो गए अरबी हो गए उसके लिए भी एक छोटा सा सेक्शन कर दें फिर तीसरा सेक्शन आ गया जैसे प्रोटीन की बात हुई पनीर हो गया नॉन वेजिटेरियन हो गया ये सब चीजें हो गई सो ये कॉन्सेप्ट जो प्लेट कॉन्सेप्ट है और और एक चीज मैंने जितने लोगों से ये डिस्कस किया कई बार बहुत इनफॉर्मली भी डिस्कस किया कि वेन एवर यू यू पुट फूड इन योर प्लेट स्पेंड थर्टी सेकेंड इन लुकिंग एट योर प्लेट इन ऑब्जॉर्बिंग वॉट इज देयर इन योर प्लेट यू विल नेवर गो रॉन्ग एंड आई एम नॉट रेडी टू बिलीव कि आदमी को अपने सामने जो प्लेट पड़ी है उसमें पता नहीं है कि क्या सही है क्या नहीं है I think everybody who's who's joined with us today, let's let's try this for a week, and uh, inshallah, जब भी हम वापस मिलेंगे तो इसके बारे में फिर बात करेंगे. That is uh, something uh, we can all do, and I think we should all take up this challenge. Dr. Sab ne हमें क्या कहा है? Just look at your plate for thirty seconds before eating, isn't it? And think before you fill your plate. Also think while you are eating your plate. एक सेकेंड के लिए जब आप खाना खा रहे हैं तो खुदा को भगवान को थैंक यू भी कर दें शुक्रिया कर दें आपने हमारा इतना खाना इतना अच्छा खाना भेजा हमें यू हैव फिल्ड अवर प्लेट फॉर अस देर आर सो मेनी पीपल हु डू नॉट हैव द लग्जरी ऑफ ईटिंग फूड इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट सो इफ यू आर माइंड फुल इफ यू आर थैंकफुल लेट अस सी वॉट हैपन्स एक्चुअली टू अवर वेट मैनी अदर क्वेश्चन कमिंग अप एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रॉस्ड फोर्टी मिनट्स but dr utsav sahu from new delhi asked the question how do i motivate people a middle aged obese person with early osteoarthritis to exercise and lose weight the treatment of osteoarthritis the prevention is weight loss and exercise motivate kaise kare and now this is so 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 important now it's like sitting in the opd and uh, orthopedic se bilateral severe osteoarthritis ke obese patient ko aapke paas refer kiya jata hai and very well understanding ki weight loss is very important for them number 1 number 2 jo limitation hai physical activity ki wo ek genuine cheez hai the patient cannot exercise so one conversation i will never start off with the patient now it is directly related to the question of motivation i will never talk about exercise to this patient as the first suggestion or the first discussion that will be a last part in fact at times i would start in saying aap exercise nahi kar sakte koi baat nahi aap arms ki exercise karo apne muscles ki karo aap baithe baithe knees ki exercise karo baki jo bach jayega usko hum nutrition se and that's where the balance uh, weight loss ek ek equation hai jisme diet exercise behavior aur dawaiyan उसके कंपोनेंट्स हैं अगर एक चीज कम हो रही है आप ऑटोमेटिकली दूसरा बढ़ा दें आपकी इक्वेशन कंप्लीट हो गई सो आई थिंक दैट टेक्स केयर ऑफ द ओबेसिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू मोटिवेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट दे आर इम्पावर्ड टू डू व्हाट दे कैन डू दे आर नॉट फोर्स टू डू वॉट आई वॉन्ट दैम टू डू सो समथिंग दैट विच दे वॉन्ट टू हेयर कोई बात नहीं एक्सरसाइज कोई नहीं कम करें आप बट वी हैव अ वे टू हेल्प यू लूज वेट आई थिंक दैट क्रिएट्स ग्रेट मोटिवेशन टू टू देम एंड सो सो दे कुड दे कुड ट्राई सच इंटरवेंशंस फॉर देयर पेशेंट्स सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एक तो पिक्चर बना के दे पेशेंट को व्हाई इज इट दैट द पेशेंट वांट्स टू लूज वेट इट्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर अ नंबर एंड इट इज सर्टेनली नॉट फॉर डॉक्टर उत्सव साहू दैट दे वांट टू लूज वेट दे वांट टू लूज वेट फॉर देयर डेस्टिनेशन the destination can be i want to be fit and main bhangra dalna chahti hu jab mere pote ki shaadi ho but you have to find out now the lady should have a pota only then you will use this motivation strategy so that is the importance of taking a good history yeah you are fond of cooking you are fond of gardening so if we exercise then you will be able to garden properly otherwise how will you bend and how will you weed your garden how will you look at all the tiny uh, herbs that are growing there एक बार वो चीज क्रिएट कर दो तो ऑटोमेटिकली गाड़ी चल पड़ती है एंड देन यू आस्क व्हाट दे आर डूइंग एंड यू जस्ट एग्री अपॉन सम अचीवेबल गोल्स मे बी 
अभी आप एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हैं फॉर टेन मिनट्स एवरी डे वाई डोंट वी मेक इट फिफ्टीन यू डोंट हैव फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एज स्ट्रेच डजेंट मैटर लेट्स डू सेवन एंड हाफ टू टाइम्स तो ये छोटी छोटी चीजें सो नाउ द सक्सेस द बैरोमीटर ऑफ सक्सेस डजेंट सटनली बिकम गेटिंग अ बी एम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इन वन मंथ इट जस्ट बिकम्स अर्लियर आई वॉज एबल टू वर्क फॉर टेन मिनट्स नाउ आई एम एबल टू वर्क फास्टर फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स तो दैट इज हेल्थ तो यू रीडिफाइन हेल्थ इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट द पेशेंट फाइंड मोर मीनिंगफुल अदर क्वेश्चन कमिंग अप एंड विपिन जी पूछ रहे हैं वट इज विसरल फैट so uh, very very important that this question was asked uh in the indian context in the asian indian community context visceral fat uh, is now is not now it's been proven to be one of the most important reasons for non communicable diseases happening so rampantly in the population and let's take the example of diabetes uh so one of the risk factors is abdominal obesity jo fat bahar hota hai aur andar hota hai andar wala fat ko visceral kehte hain viscera are basically organs so organs would include liver the 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 intestines around the heart all these organs so fat around them would be quantified as visceral fat aur wo zyada dangerous kyon hota hai because wo zyada metabolically active hota hai so it produces lot of of dangerous uh, uh, hormones uh, which which are directly related to non communicable diseases and their complications also so uh, that is quite easy to understand jo internal fat hai jo hamare organs hain uske aas paas jo fat hai wo visceral fat hai and ye actually zyada dangerous hai इसलिए अगर आपका टोटल वेट ठीक भी हो पर आपकी टमी निकली हुई है पेट निकला हुआ है आपका वेस्ट सरकमफ्रेंस ज्यादा है आपकी जो ट्राउजर्स है वो आदमियों में 90 सेंटीमीटर से ज्यादा या विमेन में महिलाओं में 80 सेंटीमीटर से ज्यादा है मोर देन 90 सेंटीमीटर इन मेन मोर देन 80 सेंटीमीटर इन वेमेन दैट इज अन दैट देर इज अड ऑफ विसरल फैट एंड वी हैव टू फाइट दैट नीना अग्गी जी से हैं शी इज One of the most respected citizens of Karnal in Haryana, and वो पूछती हैं कि मेरी daughter का weight lose नहीं हो रहा. She is 24 years old. Uh, she follows exercise and diet regularly, honestly. She is doing to the best of her ability. अब diet and exercise से नहीं हो रहा तो what else can we do? आपने चार pillars बोले थे, so what else can we do? So uh, is very very common situation and a very important aspect. uh in in young ladies uh obesity ke impact dekhe jaye to wo physical health pe to hota hi hai ek in in young girls young ladies body image is also very important there's a whole lot of peer pressure of uh, of seeing your friends like in a certain uh, weight and so it adds lot of pressure to uh, to to especially to young girls and young ladies uh it's a very common scenario ki diet exercise kar rahe hain and still weight loss is not happening we have uh, interventions in in the form of drugs also available but to be used under medical supervision when only indicated or iske aage aur mechanical procedures hote hain weight management mein jaise gastric balloons and in extreme cases surgery is also recommended in certain patients uh, agar hum surgery ki and there was a question also about uh, surgical options but agar usse pehle surgery se pehle ya ballooning se pehle agar hum baat kare medicines ki what are the medicines that are available in the indian market so in the indian market unfortunately not just in the indian market in the world market most of the very effective medicines tablets oral formulations Uh, were withdrawn from the market because of certain side effects which happened uh, with the drugs uh, abhi indian market mein uh, more or less there are only two drugs available one is a oral and other is a inject injectable medicine uh, oral medicine i am not a very big user of that drug kyunki wo medicine uh, act aise karti hai ab uh, now this thing applies in non diabetics abhi humne diabetics ki baat hi nahi ki hai 
नॉन डायबिटिक्स के लिए सो जो टैबलेट होती है वो बेसिकली फैट को अब्जॉर्ब नहीं होने देती है एंड सो लॉट ऑफ ऑयली स्टूल्स गैसी स्टूल्स स्टमक प्रॉब्लम्स इंजेक्शन एक अवेलेबल है डायबिटीज की ही मेडिसिन है विच इज़ नाउ बीन अप्रूव फॉर यूजेज इन इन नॉन डायबिटिक्स फॉर वेट लॉस सो दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन विच आर अवेलेबल नाउ इफ यू चेंज गेयर्स एंड गो टू द डायबिटीज अरिना द चॉइसिस ऑफ मेडिसिन बिकम्स मेनी मोर विद ओरल फॉर्मुलेशन एंड इंजेक्शन अवेलेबल एंड अभी वेरी रिसेंटली एक ये जो इंजेक्टेबल मेडिसिन है जिससे वेट लॉस होता है उसका अब ओरल फॉर्मुलेशन भी आ गया है जो कि डायबिटिक्स में वेट लॉस इट 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 हेल्प्स अ लॉट so many other people logged in and listening to us uh, mr vijay kapoor hai industry leader from new delhi he thanks you for all the information that you are sharing and indian market mein we have uh, injectables like liraglutide which are used in diabetes oral drugs like semaglutide again which are used in diabetes but you can use them in higher doses to reduce weight in pakistan injection semaglutide is available which is used in both diabetes and in obesity once a week injection hai wo इंडिया में फिलहाल अवेलेबल नहीं है डॉक्टर जसजीत एक पर्सनल क्वेश्चन आपके लिए और केदार जोशी सर पूछ रहे हैं कि आपको देख के ऐसा लगता है कि आप एक शायर भी हैं और गायक भी हैं या दोनों हैं तो या शायर या गायक या दोनों तीन ऑप्शंस हैं आपके लिए सर पूछ रहे हैं बिकॉज इतने प्यार से जो क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है तो मैं तो आई एम आई एम सो सो हैपी टू हेयर दैट आई एम ऑल थ्री ऑफ दैम सो पेंटर ऑल्सो That is the importance of having a wonderful hum safar in your life. So KK Metox ki ye bhi ek beauty hai. This is the beauty of KK Metox ki hum sab apas mein hum safar hain. Ek hi rasta hai, ek hi journey hai, aur ek hi disha hai, ek hi manzil hai. One destination that is good health, health and happiness for all of us. And jab hum sab ikatthe milte hain ispe, so life uh, bahut uh, happy ho jati hai. The journey becomes much happier, much smoother. So I'd like to thank everybody who is logged in today. we acknowledge uh, questions on bulimia nervosa from vipin ji perhaps uh, sir ji if you allow we can have a separate topic sometimes on eating disorders uh, absolutely but ek question aaya tha uh, and vipin ji ne ye bhi kaha protein in moderation that's right ek question aaya amit chakravarti se ke uh, keto diet kya hai and what is your opinion regarding that so uh, keto diet is also one of the dietary interventions we use where uh, uh, by 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 extreme measures we generate ketones which uh, very roughly speaking has a effect on on satiety on hunger and and it starts uh, again in a very lay understanding it will start burning the fat again the problem with keto diets is they will give you quick gratifying results however persisting on them uh, is an issue and also it should not be done especially so in people who have non communicable diseases like diabetes hypertension heart disease without consulting your physician or not at all these are these are interventions jiske results to bahut acche hain but if used properly under proper guidance is my advice to anybody and everybody who would want to do an intervention like this amit maine keto diet kiya tha i lost 10 kg in 9 weeks but all of that came back 2 4 kilo faltu wapas aa gaye aur uske alawa jo tabiyat kharab hui aur jo cholesterol badha aur usko fir kuch mahine lag gaye theek hone mein wo separate matter so i think uh, keto diet if it is being given for a specific purpose and for a short period of time that's fine agar aapke aapko aapke doctor keh rahe hain bhi hum baki sab kuch try kare let us try this या कभी कभी सीजर डिसऑर्डर में दिया जाता है कीटो डाइट टू सम टाइप्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रन जिनको सीजर्स या मिर्गी के दौरे पड़ते हैं बट नॉट एज अ रूटीन थेरेपी जसजीत भैया एक आपके एक किंड्रेड सोल आ गए हैं बलजीत मैनी जी वो भी हमारे गायक और और शायर हैं तो जिंदगी के सफर को खुश किया जाए चलो यूं कर लें कुछ वजन घटाया जाए एंड इस सफर में इकट्ठे चलते हैं हम इकट्ठे चलते हैं लवली थैंक्स बलजीत फॉर बींग विद अस uh it's almost uh, one hour and today it's a uh, real fun actually mujhe kya lag raha hai ki i also live with obesity but suddenly mujhe lag raha hai life is much happier much more relaxed after speaking with dr jasjeet and i'm sure baki sabko bhi aisa hi lag raha hoga aur uh, sagar ji bhi yahi keh rahe hain vivek bhardwaj ek pointed question puch rahe hain 
uh, what are your your views on fasting and maybe vivek agar aap allow karo to dr sahab ko alag alag sawal puchte hain so first let us talk about fasting in healthy adults young adults jinko diabetes na ho let us speak about that so uh, again we 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 must we must go back in our in our cultural system uh, from where we've grown to today's day and it is also mentioned in uh, in in the ancient medical te- uh, text which uh, uh, dr kalra also i would like to hear your views because you're very very well uh, read in in that field uh, for it to be a healthy thing to do even in normal people but disease state mein jaise if somebody is a diabetic who's on multiple medications multiple insulins i would refrain uh, from allowing them uh, to to do the fasting state otherwise it's a good thing to do it's kind of detox to the body to allow it to uh, be in a fasting state which has science and lot of traditional wisdom behind it so agar aap healthy hain if you are a healthy adult uh, go ahead and do it intermittent fasting is fine whatever is uh, required from a social cultural point of view or health point of view you can try it there's no harm but agar aap sick hain let us say kidney disease liver disease diabetes hai you are fine but you are taking four injections a day then maybe it's not a good idea and uh, it's like dr jasji said of course weight is an important thing we aapne weight kam karna hai bmi kam karna hai but that is not the only important thing the more important thing is being functional being happy uh, vipin ji ek sawal puch rahe hain wo ye hai ki after bariatric surgery vitamin deficiency ho jati hai there is vitamin deficiency after bariatric surgery so we have to keep on taking fat soluble and water soluble vitamins lifelong is the same true for semaglutide uh absolutely no uh, because some of the surgical procedures not all of them uh jaise bypass jo hota hai uh usme malabsorption of uh, nutrients and vitamins the fat and water soluble vitamins happens so the chances of uh, because of malabsorption they have to be replaced lifelong and evaluated at regular intervals semaglutide se aisa kuch nahi hota hai unless पेशेंट को उसके साथ डायरिया हो रहा है ये जी एल पी वन जो जो मेडिसिन मेडिसिन वी टॉकिंग अबाउट इन अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज अबाउट फाइव टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ पेशेंट मे हैव डायरिया बट वो क्रॉनिक नहीं होएगा क्योंकि उसके पहले ही विल विल स्टॉप इट पर से द ड्रग विल नॉट कॉज मेल ऑफ माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय और वाइटमिन सो इट इज नॉट मैंडेटेड टू रिप्लेस इट विथ सेमाग्लोटाइड Uh, another question coming up related to this the spelling is sema s e m a glutide g l u t i d t i d e to sawal pucha ja raha hai ki i have a patient who has diabetes and who is obese patient says ke dr saab aap mujhe dawai do jisse mera wazan bhi ghate aur meri sugar bhi ghate i want to control my diabetes and my uh, weight both to ye jo sema glutide tablet hai uh how do i start it what dosage and what do i tell the patient uh, how should the patient take it how should the patient not take it so uh oral semaglutide is actually and truly a game changer in in management of diabetes and especially when coexistent with uh, obesity uh, because of its multiple benefits so patient ke sath discussion mein kya aata hai durable long term sugar control effective weight loss beneficial effect on heart health beneficial effect on kidney health and liver health also proven to ye to fayde ho gaye uske uh, semaglutide ke oh i missed a question i forgot the question uh, how to uh, take it oh yeah the patient right. take it with water with milk uh, right right milk. sorry 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 main thoda zyada hi emotional ho gaya tha so i'll come back to the question so it is it is available in three doses 3 mg 7 and 14 mg Uh, this is a very specific way of taking it it should be taken empty stomach the quantity of water uh, which is allowed with that is about 100 ml upper limit 120 but i would always prescribe or discuss with the patient ki aap 90 to 100 ml ya ek sip of water se bhi le le no drug should be given along with that and give it an hour before uh, the the diet or anything is consumed 
a very important thing because a lot of patients with uh, with diabetes obesity who are candidates for this drug would also be on thyroid medicines so thyroid medicines ke sath thoda dhyan rakhna zaruri hai and after uh, what i'm doing right now is after 2 to 4 weeks i would test their thyroid profiles whenever we start on semaglutide so it's a very good drug to use you can use it for people with diabetes but just start with 3 mg and after a month you can increase another question coming from vijay kapoor ji wo ye hai ki earlier there was this uh, feeling ye dharna thi pehle ki insulin dene se weight badhta hai is that correct with the next generation insulins jo newer insulins ab hum use karte hain inse weight badhta hai kya uh, the the factual uh, answer to this is yes weight uh, insulin is a anabolic hormone to jo bhi wo karta hai positive bhi karta hai in fact pe bhi positive karta hai uska direct relation dose pe hai so the amount of insulin being administered to a patient is an important determinant however the newer generation insulins uh, have a lesser weight gain as compared to the earlier formulations of animal insulins and human insulins but the factual thing will always remain is with insulin in a dose dependent manner the weight is likely to increase so we have to counter it with diet physical activity and using drugs like sglt2 inhibitors or glp1 ras to limit uh, the the weight gain with insulin and this brings us to a very important question jo dr yadav chandra ne dr chandra yadav ne pucha tha shuru mein and dr yadav i apologize hum pehle nahi le paye usko but dr yadav wohi question raise kar rahe hain jo kedar joshi sir ne raise kiya tha ek to hum kehte hain ji weight kam karo weight kam karo बट डायबिटीज जब किसी को होती है तो बहुत ज्यादा वेट कम हो जाता है तब भी हम अपसेट हो जाते हैं तो देर आर मेनी क्वेश्चंस एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन अनकंट्रोल्ड डायबिटीज व्हाई डज वेट कम डाउन सो इट्स इट्स व्हाट वी कॉल एज ऑस्मोटिक लॉस तो उसमें एक्सेस ग्लूकोज जो कि कैलोरीज है वन इट इज नॉट यूटिलाइज्ड इट गोस ऑफ इन द यूरिन and that along with it takes a lot of water so there is enormous amount of water loss and the jo metabolic pathways hain they get altered because the glucose which is the main fuel of the body wo utilize nahi ho raha hai to body fat ko bhi break down karega muscle ko bhi break down karega so overall ye vital tissues jo ek healthy person mein we need good muscles you lose muscles also and obviously you losing fat and lot of the weight loss happens because of loss of excess water in the urination but these things mostly happen when the blood glucose levels are much higher so ab weight loss hue ja raha hai hue ja raha hai 15 kilo weight kam ho gaya 12 kilo weight kam ho gaya to dr yadav puch rahe hain uh, aise mein should we just aim to stop the weight loss or should we aim to increase the weight or does it vary from patient to patient uh this this question if it is just based on weight loss without uh, having the patient details the patient age the patient starting weight the kind of medications the patient is on uh, i'll just give you a passing example uh, some patients who are on the the newer uh, anti diabetic medications which have a potential of losing weight i call them super responders unka weight loss aisa hota hai ki wo hote hi jata hai but we know it is because of the drug if it is related to the drug stop the drug and the weight loss stops so the answer to this question will come from the profile of the patient uh, which which is in question uh, so that point is well taken har ek mareez ki apni apni zaruratein hoti hain apne apne issues hote hain to based upon all of that put together we decide the optimal weight uh we have one more question from dr anand i think dr jasjeet is not able to hear and the question is what is the role of the government in fighting obesity uh, are you with us dr jasjeet uh, so my audio yeah. had actually gone up yeah. yes sir so dr anand uh, puch rahe this is our second last question for today uh, what is the role of the government in fighting obesity wow sir you should take this question i'm totally <laughs> hands up all big zimmewari hai that is what dr jasjeet started with and that is what we will end with it is so important obesity that it cannot be left to any single group of uh, group of medical professionals or policy makers or uh, politicians 
all of us should fight weight together. And I think one very good way of starting is what we are doing now. We are on KK Med Talks and we are all talking about it. Uh, Dr. Santosh, uh, if you allow, we can get back to you. But this is a good question. Uh, I am not sure if Dr. Jasjeet can help, but let's try. Dr. Santosh is MBBS MD. Uh, what is the scope in clinical practice after fellowship in obesity, uh, body metabolism and nutrients conducted by Maharashtra University of Health Sciences? Uh, so I would I would not put a, a, a license to advise a good about weight management and related to any degree. I would relate it to the importance of the subject of weight management and allow every everybody does it. Abjo patient uh, in in the weight management program at Vedanta, the patients who are sent to me are sent by a cardiologist, an orthopedician. Everybody sends them. Because one, we have to understand that it is important. Once we understand that, uh, there are now co formal courses also available for, uh, for, for weight management, which gives you a certification and a very good curriculum of understanding the way to approach to diagnosis and management, taking these four pillars uh, into mind. But the intent should be very clear and everybody should do it. And as the question about the whole country was there. Unless all of us contribute, uh, it is practically impossible to achieve the desired health goal or wellness goal for everybody. But Santosh, uh, I think you should go ahead because there is a genuine need. And this pandemic of metabolic diseases is going up and up. Upar hi jata jayega, niche nahi aayega. So if you get the degree, certainly you will be better equipped. And uh, I, I would support this uh, particular field, provided that you like it. You have to be very humble. Just say, Dr. Jasjeet, ke dekho. I mean, you have to be like a kind of a normal human being. <laughs> Taar se taal mein lane chahiye. Agar aap aise socho ke mein bohat superior sa doctor banunga and I will look down upon the public and then they will listen to me quietly and follow what I do, to wo nahi hone wala. But all the people who are logged in today, I'm sure, including Dr. Santosh, we are all, we are all kind of normal human beings and sab uh, hum safar to bani gaye hain. So, uh, Dev Soni ji ko kahunga, yaar, Dev, don't get upset about uh, getting injuries after exercise or gaining weight after dieting. Crash dieting karoge, to crash wapis aega hi aega. <laughs> Whatever goes down will come up. And there is a Nitin Kapoor law of uh, the fourth law, I think, uh, of uh, Newton. Hai na? So, we have a Nitin Kapoor law of uh, weight loss and weight gain. That is that if you lose 10 kg by weight, uh, by crash dieting, Rest assured that 12 kg will come back when that crash dieting finishes. So don't go for crash dieting. If you have thyroid also, yeah, Dr. Jasjeet bhi uh, abhi batate hai, but uh, do show a specialist, Dev, and they will help you out. Dr. Jasjeet. Actually, that, uh, I'll just take 10 seconds in this. The weight loss and weight gain is also scientifically driven or, or uske centers resetting ke are there in the, in the brain, which makes the next effort less successful and that's where the the slow steady principle uh, and and kind of uh, not letting the mind understand what you're doing keep on changing the strategy so that you keep on losing weight in a very healthy way scientifically proven so that's called the metabolic set point uh, i'm sure dr santosh will also read about that and how do you reset the metabolic set point? Aapne basically, you can make a little bit of your mind and a little bit of your mind. And then you can do it. Uh, I'll conclude with this last comment from Joy. Because the comment is so joyful, hai, Dr. Jasjeet. One thing, today, so many people have So much of telepathy. Uh, the questions, the comments. Uh, Everything, it, it reminds us that we are all part of the same world. We are all thinking together, working together. And Joy Ji kehti hai, thank you, Dr. Jasjeet, for bringing enlightenment, enlightenment and positive energy. And uh, we are all grateful. I am grateful, Joy, for you having joined us and for everybody having joined us. And Siddharth Pandey Ji bhi pahunchi gaye, aad vajay ke aspas. So thanks, Siddharth, for joining in. But aap sab loon ko shukriya karunga for being with us. Aap sab ki taraf se Dr. Jasjeet ko shukriya karte hai, dhanyavad karte hai. Meherbani, Dr. Jasjeet, for being with us. We've loved having you with us and we hope that we see you again soon on Dr. KK's Definitely, Medtops. Definitely, sir. Always there. Always there, sir. Thanks. And for all of you, KK Medtops is always there. I'm always there every Sombar and every Veerwar. 
हमने इतनी बारी बात कर ली ओबेसिटी की और डायबिटीज की हमेशा हम हाई ग्लूकोज हाई ग्लूकोज की बात करते रहते हैं अगली बार सात तारीख को हम बात करेंगे हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया के बारे में लो शुगर के बारे में और हमारे गेस्ट होंगे डॉक्टर सुनील कोटा फ्रॉम बैरमपुर इन ओडिशा तो आपको फिर मैं मिलता हूँ सात तारीख को आज से चार दिन के बाद और आप सब लोग अपना ख्याल रखें एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर दो थ्री एस एज वे डॉक्टर जसजीत सेट एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर मंजिल तो अपनी जगह आ ही जाएगी बट जो रास्ता है और जो हम सफर हैं वो आप अच्छे से चुनें एंड फिर आप देखें लाइफ जिंदगी कितनी सुखद कितनी बेहतरीन कितनी अच्छी कितनी हसमुख रहती है ये सब के साथ थैंक यू फॉर बींग विद थैंक यू डॉक्टर जसजीत वंस अगेन जय हिंद